Hey everyone, I'm making a quick video to share something with you that I've just realized is actually a really important topic and that is uh, tinnitus. Uh, someone just wrote me today on um, if I had any suggestions or if I've ever suffered from tinnitus and I realized, whoa, that's something that indeed I did really suffer from and uh, I actually found a way out of and it's probably one of the most important topics I could share about. So yeah, I thought I'd make this video for you and let you know what I did when I had this. So in my case, what happened is I was working on a chill out track for my Satsuna uh, chill out project. I did this stupid thing of mixing a violin in a loop and working on its sound for about like two hours on Klein und Hummel O300s, uh, which have a titanium dome. And just, it was way too loud and way too piercing, a lot of mid frequencies. And eventually just my ear collapsed and it just went and it stayed, it didn't go away like it often does. So you can imagine at the, at the time I was working primarily as a sound engineer and, and musician, I was really worried and really scared because if it doesn't go away, like what's going to happen with my career as an engineer and as a musician. So I went to hospital, I got the um, infusions that you get that you're recommended with cortisone and I got a whole bunch of tablets afterwards that I took for about four days. I couldn't take them anymore after that because, you know, a week is recommended, but it just felt terrible. And I stopped and uh, yeah, I had it and I was really, really worried. Um, but there's a happy end to this story because after a while I realized like there's no way, f you know, there's no point in fighting this and, and getting super upset about it because it's not going to get any better. Um, so what I did and what I would recommend anyone, and by no means I'm not a doctor, you know, but this is what worked for me and it may help you is honestly to just ignore it. Ignore it to the best of your abilities. Obviously do not listen to headphones or loud music while you're suffering from it. It's a very clear sign from your body that you have to stop for a while. And often it's related to stress also. So, you know, try to reduce any kind of stress that you have in, li in your life to the minimum. I've heard alcohol and tobacco consumption is also not great for it. So I guess that one's up to you. Um, but yeah, just try to ignore it to the best of your ability. Don't focus on it. Don't like, you know, worry about it too much. Don't check every morning if it's there or not, but just live your life and just maybe don't do music for a bit or don't go to concerts and clubs, but just ignore it. And in my case, within maybe a month to six weeks, I still can't tell you which, you know, maybe my brain just adopted the frequency and filtered it out or it went away or I got used to it. But if I listen now, I'm in a pretty quiet beach. I don't hear a peep. Uh, and that was many years ago. I, I, you know, at a certain point, I forgot about it, honestly. That's what happened. I just, yeah, uh, it, it wasn't there anymore and I, I didn't hear it anymore. And it's never come back. So the best, best, best advice I can give you on this is if you are suffering from tinnitus uh, regularly or from time to time, is definitely check out how you're monitoring your music and listening to headphones. I personally don't use uh, metal tweeters anymore at all. They're way harder somehow in the way that the wave hits you. So I don't use them at all anymore. I am purely a silk dome tweeter guy. God, that sounded, sounds elitist <laughs> like a hi-fi kind of, uh, what do you call these guys that are really into super high and hi-fi? But yeah, I, I only use silk tone tweeters anymore to protect my ears. Um, unfortunately, that means anything from Genelec is out, anything from Klein and Hummel is out, uh, Neumann these days, because yeah, I, I just find metal tweeters just hurt my ears more, so I don't trust them anymore. Um, yeah, and, and that is really the best advice I can give related to tinnitus is, um, to mind your ears, mind the volumes that you work at. Don't listen to mid heavy instruments like uh, violins and stuff for very long periods of time. In any case, also your ears get used to the sounds you're hearing and it's very hard to mix. I often find that if I have to mix something difficult, I do my best, I come back to it an hour later and all of a sudden I realize, oh, I have to do that, that and that, and then it's done. Better than doing a two, three hour mixing session in a loop thinking you're going to make it better because there's this principle that our ears get used to stuff really quickly and it's very hard to judge if things are getting better or worse. So yeah, um, I don't want to disclose the name of the person that wrote me this because I haven't asked them for it, but whoever it was that did write me this on, uh, I think it was Instagram, thank you for that because you reminded me that uh, there's a, this is a really important topic to share about because I've actually spoken to a lot of people that have problems around tinnitus. And this has been absolutely a great uh, way to deal with it for me. And, and since I've had it, of course, I've minded my ears more. So I don't, I haven't had problems with it since then. 
So yes, uh, that is my tip on this. I hope it's helpful to you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.